Today we will learn to create comic style action lines in Photoshop. So let's get started. Create a new file, name it action lines. Set the width 1600, height will be 1200, resolution 72, click OK. Now take the pen tool, choose the color black and create a three point spike with it. Make sure the top point should be in center. Right now it's on the right side so take the direct selection tool, select the point and move it to the left. Now it's in the center, reduce the width and increase the height. Now press Ctrl Command J 10 times to make 10 duplicate copy of this shape 1 layer. Now move the top layer to the right and while holding shift select the bottom shape 1 layer and click on distribute horizontal centers icon on the header. Now all layers are equally distributed. While holding shift select the mid spikes and reduce their height. We are actually creating the uneven pattern for the spikes. So move some spikes, close the gap between them and some will be remain constant. Select all and reduce the width, press enter and while holding alt or option, slide them slightly to the right. Now select all and again drag them to the right to make more copies. We will repeat this process until we get at least 50 to 60 copies of the spikes. Now select all spikes and press Ctrl or Command E to merge them. Scale the width a little bit and move it to the center. So before going forward, I'm going to show you a trick here which is super important. We will increase the size of this document by 2000 pixels. Now go to image, image size, make the weight 3600, click OK. Now select the shape layer, go to filter, distort, polar coordinates. Now our shape layer will be rasterized, click OK. Set the option rectangular to polar, hit OK. Now right click on layer and convert it into a smart object. Name it lines. This is the reason why I increase the size of this document. I just want high resolution action lines. Now let's change it back to the original size. Go to image, image size, 1600, click OK. Now scale the lines. If we do not increase the size of the document at that time, these lines will be blurred. Select the background layer, choose the color yellow and press alt or option plus backspace to fill the color on the background. Select the lines layer, open the blending option, select overlay, choose the color orange, click OK. Create a duplicate copy of the lines. Press Ctrl or Command T to transform and rotate it by 7 to 8 degree. Set its opacity to 30%. It will create depths in the lines. Let's add some text in the center. Take the type tool, type wow with exclamation to get a striking effect. Make the color white, scale it and place it in the center. Hit on tick. Now right click open the blending option, select stroke, set the value 10. Color will be orange, click OK. Now while holding shift, select all layers except the background and rotate it by minus 15 degree to make our artwork more in action. Now double click on background layer to unlock it, click OK. Open the blending option, tick on gradient overlay, set the style to radial, tick on reverse, make sure the gradient is black and white and scale value will be 150%. Set the blend mode to color burn. Set it opacity to 35%. Hit OK. If you learn something new, hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon for learning updates. My name is Shubham. Thank you so much for watching Graphic Arena. Let's meet on another great tutorial for the time being. Goodbye.